He's white like a red snapper. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Hey. That's a nice one, Kev. Uh, let's see. Well, he's floating. That's a. That's a. Oh. Now that's a way to end the limit. Can I have a hook back? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're lying. That one is just a little bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Now, one thing I want to show. All right, guys, just to let you know, I think we all ought to use live bait, try to catch some of these gags. That's what I just put Okay, up. good. Now, one thing I want to tell you, obviously we're keeping this fish and it doesn't matter, but I see people uh, venting them like this, and when they, and they do this, and what you just did, you just poked a hole in his stomach. That is not the air bladder, that is the stomach, and if you do that, you're probably killing the fish. So you don't ever want to do that. I'm putting this one into the uh, cooler, so it's fine, but don't, you want, when you vent, You want to go 45 degree angle, an inch or two, depending on the size of the fish, from this pectoral fin and go in like this. You do not cut that. You just cut, if, I've seen so many people doing that and they cut the stomach. And you've damaged that fish. That fish right there is 20 or 30 years old. He's been around a long time. And if, you're, if you catch those fish, out of season, you want them to live so we can catch them now. And plus, these are your good breeders. They've proven that these bigger sows like this lay a lot more eggs than those smaller fish do. And I see a lot of captains who, on charter boats, who Cut that stomach, and it is not the right thing to do. Now, I caught this big fish on a sardine and a... piece of squid. Okay, now that... Is a good red snapper, according to this scale. Not that accurate, but that's about 18 pounds. Nice. Hey. Good job, Kevin. Thank you, man. All right, let me right let me move my pole. Woo. What legends do. <laughs> I tell you what, he fought good, but I really did not think that he was that big. But I'm glad he was. Yes. Let me tie this up. You know, I really thought going to those other spots first was the right thing but but coming here you know you don't know it maybe maybe the moon's right or whatever tide change yeah you don't know. <laughs>